Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and uh, today I've got a triple unboxing for you guys uh, well technically it's a double unboxing but um, I did get three models um, they were all off trades um, as you can well um, I traded um, two of my aircraft for uh, three aircraft although one does not have a box uh, so that's why it's a double unboxing but we'll just go review all that third one but um uh, haven't been on quite a while. It's good to be back. Um, I have filmed a few, but I just haven't been able to um, process them and uh, edit them, or anything like that. Um, most of the editing websites I use just either just they make you pay to export them or um, uh, pay to use features. But um, hopefully, I can get or find a new website soon. Um, um, and yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing some more videos soon, but today we've got, like I said, a triple unboxing, or double unboxing, but, um, like I said, we got, I did pull off a trade, I traded my Qantas, uh, Qantas 737 in the Yes Optus livery and the Virgin Strike 777 for three models, um, so we might as well just get started and go straight into the, um, the one that... Uh, sorry about that. The one that doesn't, that didn't come with a box. And that is this. It is a, it is a Delta 757-300 by Gemini Jets. Bro, this camera. But, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm not sure what release this is. It looks pretty old, um, just because there's no antennas. Why would this camera do, do what it? There we go, sorry about that. Um, it looks like a pretty old release because there are no antennas. Um, um, most of the new releases by Gemini Jets have um, antennas. Um, oh, not much to say about this aircraft, but um, I'll have to do some research on it. No, I haven't done any research on it yet, but it is a Delta um, 757-300 um, N583NW. Um, what is Review that quickly. Oh my bro. So at the front we've got the uh the cockpit windows, um, and you got the door and then the registration under the um on the little what do you call them, the gear? The uh the gear covers. Um which is uh well, looks like it is five eight oh three. And then you got the Delta logo, and you got the first uh, few few windows, and then you got the uh, next door, and then moving along, you've got a lot more windows, the whole plane's covered in windows, and you got the engine, which is just blue, and the wings, which are actually surprisingly short uh, for such a long air aircraft, um, and also one wheel is missing. Um, that's probably the fault of the owner. Oh well, it is second hand. He did. Oh jeez, he did get it second hand. Why won't this camera? Just do what it. I'm gonna have to hold it. And then you got the uh, Delta logo, and you got N eight, N no, five eight oh three. Geez, um, on top of the wing, on top of the tail, and you got the back, back rudders, and then you got the red row there, in the back door. So um, jeez, this camera is giving me so much trouble. I just don't really like this camera for filming. I need to get a different camera. But let's go underneath. We have got a... We've got the Delta logo and Gemini Jets logo. We've got the wheels. Um, we've got the front. Jeez, this bloody camera. Uh, and you've got the front gear. And you've got the back. And yeah. The top of the... the top front, you've got... Those jeez, these um, you got those uh, the wi the wing escape brutes. Oh yeah, some pretty good details on this, except there should be antennas, but there is no, there are no antennas. Um, so yeah, that's that aircraft. I reckon we'll get into the second aircraft, which is. Let me just adjust this. Sorry if I'm like moving the camera around a lot. This Give me a lot of trouble, this camera. Next model we have got is a... It's a Phoenix. 
Uh, Thai 787-9. Um, this, well, the box is actually quite small. It, um, it's about as big as the, um, smaller than what you'd expect. Um, but, uh, well, it fits the model. Uh, on the front you've got Boeing 787-9 TM and you've got the digitalized image. And then you've got, and then going down you've got Thai and their logo and you've got registration HSTWA and you've got 1x400 scale platinum series. And then as we move it to the side you've got the Phoenix logo um, and you know, Heart of Aviation bottom, you know, you've got the, you've got the digitalized image um, and the logo. And the other side, you've got all that again. The top, you've got that again, the warning. On the back, you've got Thai, the logo, and but doing Boeing 787-9, and limited edition, as they always are, limited edition. And you've got the official licensed product and the scan code. But yeah, let's put the box back over here. I'm gonna move this camera. I put it back over here, and then I reckon we'll get the model out. Now, when I first opened this model, uh, the front gear, or the wheels, they were, they were all off. Um, uh, I don't think that wasn't the fault of the, um, the trader. I did ask him, and he said that they were on. Um, and now they're off, so that's probably the fault of Australia Post. What can you say? Um, so let's just get into detail. At the front, you've got... Um, You've got Thai, Thai logo, and then you've got, uh, this, um, is that Star Alliance? Thai, Thai, Thai are a part of the Star Alliance, I think, last time I checked. Jesus, bloody camera. Sorry, I'm gonna have to swear in a second. It's just so frustrating, this camera. But yeah, you've got the Star Alliance. Go, bruh, what does that say? Hum, 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 hum. I think I just had a stroke. Um, and you got the uh, the front gear cover, which has TWA because that is the registration. You got the wheels, the cockpit things, and I'm gonna have to read what that says. I don't know what does that say. Fat. I see fat, fatium, fatium, uh, fatium m something. Yeah. I think I'm about to have a stroke because of that. But yeah, we've got the windows, you know, the doors, all that, and then you've got the, um, the engines, the wings, you know, what a plane usually has. And you've got the purple, pink, and gold stripes that um, Ty have, and then you've got the logo, and you've got, oh no, the registration, and you've got the logo and the Ty, um, the, no, the Thailand flag on the top of the um, tail. On the wing over there, you've got the registration. Um, and then underneath, you've got, you know, Phoenix, the Phoenix logo. You've got the gears, you've got the, all that. Um, um, then you've got the registration on that bit there. Uh, you've got the hole to put the stand in, and then you've got the top. Don't have the uh, root guide things. Uh, it's got a, is it a Wi Fi? Um, Thing. Antennas, um, yeah, basically just a plane. Um, this is an okay model. This I do need this for um, Melbourne because I believe they fly the um, 787s to Melbourne or the A380s to Melbourne. But um, most A380s aren't flying right now. Apart from if you're along, if you're Emirates or Qatar or Etihad. No, Eddie had to get rid of their um, A380s. They're going to storage, are they? Just heard that in the news. Um, so if they're moving, there's something. Yep. My little bird is messing around in the cage. Um, yeah. So that is the model, the Taiwan model. Sorry about the um, this the light blur on the model. Uh, that's because this space is usually open. I did get a new bed, by the way. Just an update. So. The airport will probably not fit in my room anymore, so, um, the airport might be going, or, um, might be getting to have to pack it up, um, soon, 
or I might just have to find space in my room, which is probably what I'll do. But uh, yeah, apart from that, this model uh, is really nice. I really like it. I recommend it. Um, just as long as the wheels don't fall off. And I'll try to read. What does that say? That says. I don't know, that's just, what does it say, that? Fatium Nicium. Some, um, some sort of Asian language, uh, that type, probably. But, um, yeah, that's a model, I highly recommend it, and, um, yeah, you should get it. But I reckon we'll move on to the last model, um, and you'll see what it is. I do need this model, because this, this aircraft does actually fly to Melbourne. Um, the, this... This exact aircraft was in Melbourne a couple of days ago. Um, so you probably will be able to tell what it is. It's one aircraft that I don't have here. Uh, it comes from Asia. It's a major airline. Major airline. Um, and I, I do really like it. Um, so I just put it up. It's the first. It's my first A350 that I've got. Um, and you probably can tell what it is now. But it is a... It is a Singapore Airlines A350-900 by Phoenix. Now, there's no Phoenix logos on it because, you know, I branded my, um, Singapore technically thing. Um, stroke 2. Um, but you've got, on the top you've got Airbus A350-900 and you've got the digitalized image. Which looks really nice. And you've got Singapore Airlines and you've got 9VSHA, which... This exact aircraft was in Melbourne, like I said, a couple days ago. You got one, one by 400 scale. Now the image, the entire thing is just sky, like a sc sunset sky. I do really like it. Now the bot, the box is one of those ones that you makes one of those sound that sound, but the other one just does makes this sound. I don't know why you'd be scratching uh, model boxes, but awkward. Um, but yeah. And then you got on the side, you've got the um, warnings and the scan uh, barcode. On the side, you've got A50-900 um, and the golden stripe, the blue stripe, or navy stripe, um, and the orange stripe. And you got one by four inch scale, and then you got the back, which is also A50-900, Singapore Airlines, one by four hundred scale. Side again, you've got the digitalized image, A50-900, and one by four hundred scale. And the back, it is Singapore. Um, really nice image, and he's got Airbus A350-900, Singapore Airlines, 9V SHA, and 1x400 scale. And I'm uh, just looking at the timer on the camera, this video is going to be long, so if you're still watching it now, um, thanks. Uh, it's probably boring by now, but um, just thank you if, you if you're still watching right now. But I move to the front, and we'll get the model in. This model is actually except I love this model. Um, it's a little bit dirty, come from the cellar, but um, apart from that, it's a really good model. Uh, we'll go into the review of it now. Um, okay, so in the front you've got the cockpit windows, and you've got Star Alliance, and you've got front door. They got HA on the uh, gear cover, um, and you got the front gear, and you got Singapore Airlines and the Singapore national flag. They got the blue, orange, no, the navy, orange and gold uh, stripe that goes right up the back to the end of the aircraft. Um, and then you got the little uh, winglets, would you say? And they got the Singapore Airlines logo on the tip of it. I don't know if you can see that. The uh, jeez, uh, what do you? The engines, stroke number three that I've had. Um, and then you've got the wheels, um, or the gear, and you've got the wing, um, all the windows. And you've got 9V SHA, and then you've got back logo, the tail, which is the Singapore bird. And then, I don't know if you see, there's just a white dot, I think that's a paint mark. I'm not sure. But then on the other side, I haven't done this at the other aircraft that I've reviewed so far. But, um, that's just the same. The front the cockpit windows... They just look amazing. That's probably the best bit about this aircraft that I like. Jeez, the blur. Um, that's the favorite part of the A350 is that they just look so cool. It's not my favorite aircraft, um, but it's definitely up there among my favorite aircraft. And you got the antennas, some weird bumps. Um, 
Two weird bumps there. I don't know why they're there. They just are. Um, yeah, and you got the antenna, the Wi-Fi box. Um, and then you got underneath. You've got uh, 9V SHA. There's no Phoenix branding on this because you know the Singapore Airlines don't allow it. Um, and you've got you know all that. I really like see. I really like Singapore's uh, lo um, livery uh, just because it looks good on most of the aircraft that they've got. And I say most of the aircraft. Um, I specifically their 737-800s that they just got. Uh, they look pretty good uh, in the Singapore logo. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more Singapore Airlines aircraft just because. This is the only one that flies to Melbourne currently, apart from the A380. Um, and the A380s are hard to get in models, um, or in Singapore Airlines um, models. Now, my birthday is coming up in about a month, so I should be getting uh, at least two, two models for that. Um, there's one specifically that I would really like, um, being a sport fan. Might give you a hint, it's a sport livery. You'll probably tell what it is now. Um, hopefully I'll be getting that for my birthday and another aircraft. Uh, they might both be um, in the uh, airlines that are from the Middle East. Um, it was like my last birthday I got uh, two Middle Eastern airlines, uh, Kuwait Airways 777 and the, um, <coughs> the Emirates Blue Expo livery 777. Um, I don't know what's with Middle Eastern airlines, they just look so good. Um, and they use usually the major ones that come from the Middle East. Um, <sighs> yeah. What I've just noticed on the tie, on the tie 787-9, the back paint is lighter than it should be. It should be a little bit darker than that. Um, it still looks good, but that's just something I noticed. Um, not sure why I'm still going on about uh, this. Uh, I'm gonna end the video very shortly, but um, I haven't been uploading too much. Um, I really would like to be uploading more. Um, this is probably the, one of the only ones you'll see for a while, because um, I have been quite busy this week. I've got an outdoor education camp, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, that's in Biragai, and that's rock climbing. But now. For now, I've just got these models to show and unbox. Um, you'll be seeing this sometime. It's uh, Sunday afternoon, it's 2.03. Uh, the Richmond game will be starting in 7 minutes against the Crows. Let's hope they win. Uh, everyone else thinks it's called, um, thinks AFL is just gay AFL. You're wrong. Richmond are the best. I'm going to get some hate for that, some dislike buttons for that. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, the Thai, the Singapore, and the Delta. Yep. Um, the airport is usually the same. Um, I did add some uh, squares to it, which it looks really nice. I do like it, apart from the fact that I smudged one of it, one of them up here when I'm having to repaint the uh, the lines and uh, just stuff like this, like 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 bra. Um. Um, and also when he touched the, um, the airport, the, uh, the lead just smears and it looks disgusting. But yeah, uh, so that is all I've got right now to show you guys. Wait a second. There's a new aircraft that I got for Christmas. I still have not done an unboxing video of that. I have actually filmed it. I just have not uploaded it yet or edited it yet. But that is my Christmas model. It's really late in the year, mid-year now, and I still have not uploaded that video. Probably should get onto that. Um, it won't be called Christmas Unboxing because it's well about to be June. It's um, what's it? It's May twenty-nine. No. M no, May May thirty. Um, but yeah, this model looks really nice. Um, really happy with that one, and I'm really happy with these these three models. And in about a month, you should be seeing my um. Uh, my uh, my birthday unboxing. Uh, hopefully, at least two or three models will be coming out of that one. Um, and yeah, 
thank you guys for watching. Um, I should be uploading some more spotting videos, so I'll see you guys enjoy that and some more reviews. But uh, apart from that, I will guys, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.